All right, so this is one of my old mobile phones. It dates from 2006. It's a Sony Ericsson W810i. I've actually made a video on this before, and it's still on my channel. Uh, about five years ago, I made this video. So I'm just making an updated video with uh, hopefully slightly better visuals now that I have uh, better cameras and stuff. So this was my daily driver back in 2006. I used this for at least a year, probably two years now I think of it. And the main feature on this phone was it was really good, had really good sound. And it was branded as a Walkman phone. As you can see down the side of it there it says Walkman. And it has a dedicated music mode. Which means you could play music files from it without having the phone part of it activated. So you could use it on an aeroplane or in a hospital. That sort of thing. So some specs on the phone. It has a 20 megabyte internal memory. Believe it or not. But it takes the Sony Memory Stick Duo Pro and it can take up to 4 gig memory card. The memory card slots into the side here. And it currently has a 2 gig memory card in there with absolutely nothing on it. The screen is a TFT LCD with a resolution of 176 by 220 pixels. The phone itself supports Bluetooth 2 and USB 2, although there's no actual USB slot on it. There's just a proprietary Sony connector at the bottom doesn't have any Wi-Fi so you can't connect it to a modern internet these phones only run on the WAP internet um, so yeah there's no uh, Wi-Fi or 3G 4G that sort of thing removing the back panel is where the battery is And it's a 3.6 volt LiPo at 900 milliamp hours. And the SIM card slots in here as well. So surprisingly, I haven't touched this phone since the last time I made a video, which would be five years ago. I took it out of the box I had it stored in. Pressed a power button and it powered on and it still had 50% charge after being turned off for or five years. So try doing that with your modern iPhone or Android phone. In the centre here we have a centre button which is your play and pause and then we have a four way switch on that silver ring around the outside. Like I said, it has a proprietary Sony connection at the bottom. So yeah, multi-pin connection there. And back when I was using this, 2006-2007, that had already started giving me trouble. Uh, because the um, little pins are so fine, keeping the phone in your pocket, that would get all blocked up and clogged. And I was constantly cleaning it, trying to pick the dust and dirt out of it with a little pin and it's still funny today uh, uh, to plug it in and out about 10 times before it actually charges on the back of the phone there you can see the 2 megapixel camera with the flash above it and then the rather clogged up <laughs> uh, speakers below it. I'm not sure if there's more than one speaker in there or it's just a single speaker but uh, yeah, these were classed as having a really good sound back in 2006. Power button on the top. Play pause button on the side. Memory stick slot. Charging port. 
it's also for your headphones and USB connection you have your shutter button for the camera and a volume rocker when you first turn the phone on it comes up uh, with an option to start phone or music only so if you pick music only then the phone part doesn't actually start there's no uh, no signal coming or going to the phone it just takes you straight into the music player And just to tell you uh, how old this phone is, that's a picture of my daughter, which I took when I was using this phone. And my daughter is 16 at the end of the month. So I'll give you a quick look around the menu here. Uh, probably not a lot of it's going to work. I know I have some games and stuff on here. So we have Play Now, which is like a radio service. Internet services, obviously they're not going to work. Our games in there uh, take you into the music player. Text messages, camera function, file manager, contacts, uh, radio, which is like a terrestrial analog radio, but you need to have the headphones connected. So it uses the headphones as an antenna. Settings, organizer. And calls, which I think it gives you your yeah, call sent and received. Have a quick look in the camera here. Now according to this, I can take 300 plus photos. I think that's what it means <laughs> I don't know what the 1632 means either so maybe it's 300 plus on the internal 1632 on the memory card I have no idea push up and down here to change between video and photo so I'll take a couple of pictures and video with this and I'll paste them into the the video here And this is a quick sample of how the video and audio sounds. So really, I can't really show you an awful lot else here, but go and have a look at the games I have on it. I have no idea what that e sim menu is. This is uh, locked to orange, this phone. So we have games, video DJ, music, photo and music DJ as well, and remote control. I think that you can... Uh, I can't remember. Uh, it's a Bluetooth remote control function on it. And like a voice recorder. And the demo tour has been deleted. Uh, in the games menu, I have Assassin's Creed, JC Dos Texas, Quadrapop, Rayman, Rayman something, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Games copyright two thousand and seven.
Yeah, so you have to use the uh, number keys to control these games. So I think in this is six is run right, four is run left, two is jump, and eight is down, and then five is your attack button. So I can't really see what I'm doing here. So don't be expecting a great gameplay demonstration. out there but to use the button key so pressing six moves you along and it automatically climbs and then where's the eight key you can't see the cameras in the way I've no idea what that is and press five to attack <laughs> All right, let's to figure out how to quit out of this now. And I'll have a look at Sonic the Hedgehog here. I showed Sonic the Hedgehog in my the last video I made of this. So and these are all uh, Java based games. So they're pretty basic, but they're designed to run on a phone of this spec. Yep, so same again, 6 makes you move to the right and the number 2 button makes you jump. And there's no sound effects as you can hear, there's only music. But as you can see, it runs really quickly. Oops. <laughs> straight down a hole <laughs> so there you have it that is the Sony Ericsson W810i from 2006 uh, I reckon if you could get a SIM card to work in this uh, it would still function as a half decent phone today uh, yeah I'd like to see how many modern smartphones are still working in 16 years or 14 16 years 2006 14 years sorry <laughs> uh yeah yeah just a quick look around the phone uh, i will probably have this phone forever it'll probably outlast me at this rate <laughs> uh okay guys thanks for watching bye for now